welcome back feature medicos i have done a video for the cut off marks of deemed universities under the general category that is deemed slash paid seats quota and subsequently some of you have asked can i do a similar video for nri seats also some of you are also interested whether there are any seats vacant under nri quota and whether it will be converted to a general category in round 3 now this video will answer all those questions so basically if you look at there are totally 57 medical colleges under the deemed university category nine colleges did not offer any nri seats they have offered all their seats under the general category so the remaining 48 medical colleges only offered nri seats and out of the colleges that offered nri seats until round 2 35 colleges all the seats had been allotted once again remember for 35 colleges 100% of the seats had been allotted at the end of round 2 now it does not mean there are no vacancies in those colleges it just means that the seats are allotted but we don't know how many candidates will join so certainly there will be some vacancies so in this video we will see college wise whether there are any unallotted seats and we will see what is the closing score in round 1 and round 2 and we will do a comparison also okay so we are going to look at the nri quota cut off in 2024 round 1 and round 2 we are going to do a comparison we are also going to see what are the total seats allotted in this college under nri quota how many seats were allotted until round 2 this is round 1 and round 2 combined at the end of round 2 how many seats had been allotted and how many seats are unallotted how many seats are lying vacant at the end of round 2 of course the actual vacancies for example right uh, let's take a rural medical college pinsloney i'm showing zero but that does not mean there are no vacancies right maybe like the candidates out of the 30 candidates some of them may decide not to join and then when the round 3 starts there could be vacancies but as of now there are no vacancies as per seat allotment and then i want you to take a look at i am showing a red color dot at the end which means the cut off has increased from round 1 to round 2 most of the colleges the cut off has increased very one or two colleges only the cut off has decreased even for nri quota nri quota also the cut off has increased from round 1 to round 2 which is normally not the trend but this year many colleges the cut off has increased from round 1 to round 2 and when you see a green color it means all the seats had been allotted so if you see the round one green color it means in round one itself all the seats had been allotted subsequently there are some vacancies and those are also got allotted in round two right that's what green color means and then when you see this color kind of like yellow color it means right not all the seats had been allotted some seats had been allotted but some seats are vacant but you could see that round 1 there is an yellow color but round 2 there is a green color that means what round 1 there were not all seats were allotted that means there is no demand in round 1 but round 2 there was a demand so all the seats had been allotted so there are more demand in round 2 compared to round 1 not applicable it means this college was not available in round 1 it came in in round 2 and all the seats had been allotted so you could see green color yellow color and if you see red color that means no seats had been allotted zero seats nothing has been allotted so for example here you see red color in round 1 yellow color in round 2 which means round 1 nobody shown interest not even one candidate but when it came to round 2 there are some candidates showing interest right that's what the different colors means so i will go through each college and explain what is uh, this data is all about so surprisingly two new medical colleges right two new medical colleges just starting this year one is ims campus 2 and the second medical college which is mgm nerul both have no vacancies in round 2 they had 23 seats and all the 23 seats had been filled in round 1 and none of them who have joined in round 1 have vacated the seat all the 23 who got allotment in round 1 they join and they are not leaving the college surprising similarly the same case in mgm nerul eight seats were there under nri quota all the eight seats had been allotted in round 1 all the eight candidates have joined none of them are leaving so it's very surprising for two new medical colleges 
100% seats are taken up in round 1 itself. Round 2, there are no vacancies. But again, right, round 3, these candidates may leave. I don't know. They may or may not leave. But as of now, since they have not left in round 2, I don't see them leaving in round 3. The chances are low. But as of now, round 2, there are no vacancies. So round 1 closing score applies. That is round 1, 215 for IMS Campus 2. For MGM Nerul, it closed at 254 marks. The third place goes to Rural Medical College, Pims Loney. In round 1, it closed at 146 marks. In round 2, it closed at 510 marks. Look at the increase. It's a huge increase from a 12.6 lakhs closing rank. Now it is closing at 1.92 lakhs. So that's why I keep on telling people, don't wait until round 2, round 3 for deemed universities. If you are interested, go in round 1. Round 1 is always the best round. Of course, this advice may not hold good for you anymore, but maybe the next batch, when they are looking at the counseling, my advice, go in round one, right? Because a candidate with 12.6 lakhs is able to get a seat in round one, whereas a candidate with 2 lakh cannot get it in round two. A huge increase from 146 marks to 510 marks. At number four, we have KMC Mangalore, which closed at 476 marks in round two. At number five, we have K. Segde Mangalore, which closed at 466 marks. Kasturiba Medical College Manipal, KMC Manipal closed at 450 marks. Kalinga Institute Bhuvaneshwar closed at 426. MGM Navi Mumbai, that is the Kamoti uh, Navi Mumbai uh, College, which closed at 408 marks. IMS Bhuvaneshwar, the Campus 1, closed at 386 marks. And at number 10, we have MGM Aurangabad, which closed at 383 marks. So you could see that all the 10 colleges at the top, the cutoff has increased. None of them, the cutoff has decreased. All of them, the cutoff has increased and the increase is very drastic, right? So for some, um, the cutoff has increased nearly like 350, 360 marks, it has increased. Once again, from college 11 to 20, you could see all red, which means all the cutoff has increased in round two. So Symbiosis Medical College closed at 376 marks in round two. MGM Vashi closed at 333. JSS Mysore closed at 331. JLN Belgam closed at 331. Manipal Tata Medical College closed at 325 marks. It had only two seats, but the two seats closed at 325 marks. Datta Mega Nagpur closed at 315 marks. JLN Medical College at Varda closed at 312 marks. Anypoya Medical College. This medical college in round one, there was no demand. The 38 seats, there are not enough applicants. And until 13 lakhs, the seats were available. And even if some other candidates have applied, they would have got the seat, right? So 137 marks, there were not candidates, enough candidates, not all the 38 seats were allotted in round one. But when it comes to round two, all the 38 seats had been allotted and it closed at 305 marks. In round one, anyone could have got a seat, but in round two, it was quite demand uh, and closed at 305 marks. At number 19, we have Hamdad Institute, New Delhi, which closed at 280. And at number 20, we have D.Y. Patil, Navi Mumbai, which closed at 278 marks. Let's look at college 21 to 30. Again, you could see all red on the right side, which means all the colleges, the cutoff has increased. Some of them blank. It means they are new colleges. They don't have a history in round one. Now, D.Y. Patil Kolapur closed at 275 marks. Krishna Karad closed at 274. Amrita Kochi closed at 263. Uh, B.V. Deemed University Pune closed at 248. BV Deemed University Sangli also closed at 248. You could see they are almost same rank, 248, 248. Surprisingly, both closed at almost the same score. SRM Medical College, round one, there was no demand. Even SRM Medical College, they, they offered only three NRA seats. But even for the three NRA seats, there are not candidates in the round one. But in round one, all the three NRA seats had been allotted and it closed at 221 marks. JG Triple MC, also first round, there is no demand, but round two, it closed at 211 marks. Malaredi Institute, round one, it was not available. Round two, it closed at 198 marks. 
Santosh Medical College, Ghaziabad. Round one, there was no demand, but round two, it closed at 196. At number 30, we have SDU Kolar. Once again, there is no demand in round one, but round two, it closed at 185 marks. Now at 31, we have Mallaridi Medical College for Women, which is a new medical college coming straight into round two and it closed at 169 marks. Sri Ramachandra Medical College, which closed at 165 marks. Round one, there was no demand for this college. Not all the 38 seats had been allotted, but round two, all the 38 seats had been allotted and it closed at 165 marks. Raja Rajeshwari, once again, uh, closed at 164 marks in round two. Siddhartha T. Begur closed at 149. Sri Siddhartha Tumkur closed at 127 marks. Almost at the bare passing mark, it closed at 127. Now, colleges below this, from 36 onwards, they don't have demand, right? Not all the seats had been allotted. Until now, you could see that unallotted seats are zero until college 35. From college 36 onwards, we have some vacancies available. So at number 36, we have Amrita Faridabad. I'm not going to talk about the cutoff because it's not important because there are seats vacant. Anyone, if someone has applied, they would have got a seat. So there are two seats vacant at the end of round two seat allotment. Of course, this number could increase, right? Currently, we know for sure there will be two seats vacant for round three. BLDE Bijapur, there will be two seats vacant for round three. For sure, Wales Medical College, there will be three seats vacant. Sri Balaji Medical College, we will have six seats vacant. D.Y. Patil Pune will have seven seats vacant. Geetam Institute will have at least eight seats vacant. Graphic Era, which is a new medical college, will have about 10 seats vacant. Sri Lalitambigai Medical College will have about 12 seats vacant. SBKS at Gujarat will have 15 seats vacant. MM Institute will have 16 seats vacant. That is the minimum I am talking about. Mahatma Gandhi Medical College, Pondicherry will have 19 seats vacant. Only one seat had been allotted. 19 seats are unallotted in round two. ACS Medical College will have 24 seats vacant. And then Meenakshi Medical College will have 38 seats vacant. This is the only medical college. Meenakshi Medical College is the only medical college where round one also no one got a seat and round two also no one got a seat. So basically round one and round two, none of the NRI seats had been allotted. So... Now we have all these seats vacant. Of course, all the colleges below these, they are not offering any NRI seats like Arupadai Vida Medical College, Bharat Medical College, Chetina, JR, Sabita, Satya Sai, Lakshmi Narayana, Vinayaka Missions, Karakal and Vinayaka Missions, Salem. All these nine colleges, they are not offering any NRI seats. All this 100% of the seats are offered under deemed quota. Now, if you look at the total summary, totally we had 1,297 NRI seats, out of which until round 2, 1,135 seats had been allotted. This is the allotment. And currently, there are 162 seats vacant. And certainly, this number will increase. It cannot be 162. It may go up to maybe like 250 to 300. Maybe the vacancies will increase. And these seats will again be offered in round 3. If you are an NRI, and if you want to take these 162 seats or any seats that become vacant in round three, you can certainly apply under NRI quota. And uh, the NRI seats will first be offered to NRI applicants. And let's say if there are not enough candidates. For example, let's say Meenakshi Medical College, round one, there is no NRI. Round two, there is no NRI. Let's say round three also, all the 38 seats, there are no, not enough takers, let's say, right, there are only like eight NRIs. Then what will happen to the remaining 30 NRI seats? Those will be converted to the general category and it will be offered to everyone. Anyone who has registered under the uh, deemed quota, if you have given the choice under deemed quota, it will be offered to you. Now, what will be the fees? Should I pay the NRI fees or should I pay the deemed quota fees? You should only pay the deemed quota fees because you are, your choice is only deemed quota. You are not choosing a NRI seat. The NRI seat, because there are not candidates, people cannot afford so much fees. That's why it is converted to management quota or general quota or deemed quota. And anyone who is giving a choice as deemed quota have to pay only deemed quota. So candidates who are still looking for NRI seat, there is hope for you in round three. And candidates who are 
interested in deemed quota you can also have some hope that uh, there will be some vacancies under the general category plus some seats will be converted from nri to the general category so stay hopeful uh, of course we won't have a lot of vacancies in round 3 but certainly there will be vacancies so stay hopeful and then make sure that you fill as many choices as possible in round 3 so that it will increase your chances of getting a college at least in round 3. I hope this information is useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.